What's up guys, it's Tanky Beast Pro and today we're going to be doing what to mount on Hornet in Tanky Online. So we start with Smokey. This combination isn't so commonly seen on the battlefield but it can be very effective. Uh, but Hornet is actually more stable than Wasp, so you, you know, you're the better one out of the two if you want to use a light haul that's quite you know really quick is definitely Hornet. Um, it's easier, it's um, more stable, when we say that, I mean, uh, it's easier to cope with the recoil of the uh, uh, of the gun. And uh, Hornet is still pretty fast, so you're, you're not at a major disadvantage if uh, you want to use, if you really want to use Wasp. But, so you're not, yeah, you're not at a major disadvantage uh, by using Hornet, because it, it is only just slightly slower. But um, it's fantastic for uh, offensive play, I know, you know, those critical hits really come in handy for dealing high damage on your uh, enemies um, it's, it's a bit harder to to use on like hit and run tactics though you know it's uh, with this combination it, you know it's just that anyway since the turret isn't located right at the back of the, uh, of the uh, hull um, so overall I'd argue that this is maybe you know a combination it's not as powerful um, I don't. I still don't think it is as powerful as Wasp and Smokey. But we'll move on to uh, Wasp and. Um, we, we did do Wasp and Smokey, Smokey in the last video, and it was quite powerful. Um, but it, it does. It is still quite a good combination. Now I'll be doing as uh, seen in the previous video on uh, what to mount on Wasp. There'll be a link in the description. Um, I'll rate it out of ten. Um, but so overall effectiveness out of ten for this, I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. So now we move on to Firebird and Hornet. Um, now players will mount Firebird onto Hornet simply due to the fact that Hornet is such a versatile hull, and uh, you know it's it's, a, it's got a bit of extra health, but it does lose to Wasp in speed, not by much as we mentioned previously in, sm in Smoky uh, um, in, in the Smoky rating, but um, it's just personally putting this high damage weapon on such a hull. Um, it just doesn't really work. I mean, it, it can work and it can be very effective if you use it, but you, you can't really move around your opponents uh, as much because it's quite, you know, quite a bulky uh, sort of um, hull. Um, but it is still effective because of Firebird's uh, Afterburn, uh, which is really, can be really deadly, uh, especially if you have M2 Firebird. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, it, it, for me, I think Firebird needs to be on like a medium hull not on a light hull um so maybe something like viking uh hunter hunter's a pretty good one for firebird and stuff like that uh, dictator the dictator's quite good as well but i wouldn't put it on anything too big like mammoth or titan though because uh that you know you, you do want some maneuverability in your tank so you can get around people so possibly hunter and viking's your best bet for this um so yeah that, that's that's firebird it is so basically overall it can be effective because of its afterburn, but it's just horn. It's not just not the right hull um, for such a high damage weapon. So you you really want a medium hull. Um, so the the overall effectiveness out of ten, uh, I'm gonna give this uh, six and a half out of ten. Okay, so now we come to railgun, uh, which is mounted on the hornet. Uh, this I'd say. Is one of the best combinations in Tanky Online. It is such a good combination, and it's had the highest. It, I've, I, I am going to give it the highest uh, overall effective uh, rating, but we'll get to that later once we've uh, finished on the description of uh, why it's so good. Basically, it's um, it used to have its own unofficial battle mode based around it, um, and it was flooding server uh, server one, which that was back in its day, back in the old Tanky days. So, and. Um, you know, it, it's also known as like the XP combination. So Hornet and Rail, Railgun, it's great for getting XP. Um, but it, basically, Hornet is quick and stable, which is perfect for the hit and run tactics of Railgun. So you know, you shoot someone, you run, maybe get behind cover, and then you shoot them again. And it, you know, in Railgun, it takes about two hits to kill most tanks. So um, and Hornet's maneuverability suits Railgun really well, I think. And uh, it's great for dodging shots of other uh, fellow railgun users because this has a better acceleration speed than Wasp, so it, it it's 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 a really good hull, and um, and it actually it looks really good. I mean, 
look at that it, it does look absolutely amazing I think it looks really nice and as you can see I have it M2 uh, because it is such a great combination and anyway yeah so getting to the overall effectiveness of this the rating out of 10 it, it has got to, it, it this is the highest rating I'm ever going to give a combination probably and it's 9 out of 10 it is just a fantastic combination and you see most campers use it um, it's just it's just really good and uh, fantastic for getting XP fantastic for killing fantastic for everything basically and that's uh, that's Hornet and Mer that's Hor yeah Hornet and Melbourne okay so moving on to uh, I sit and Hornet um, to me I said it's all about speed really you need speed for it to work because it does have the shortest range in the game and so you really do need the extra speed boost up to keep up with the competition uh, it also has a um, health stealing feature so health isn't particularly a big issue um, but yeah so you, you know you, you, um, you're you getting shot on there by ricochet uh, or, or, or twins or something but yeah ricochet you can possibly, if you get close enough to the tank, and this is where the speed comes in, because you have to race towards the tank, if you get close enough to him, uh, the ricochet shot will hit you, but then you will be able to, while, while the ricochet like reloads, and it goes bang, 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 you know, like that, in, in between those bangs, um, you know, you, you, you're, you're regaining health, possibly from that one ricochet hit, uh, so... Um, it's going to take absolutely ages to kill you, and that is why it is so good. But it's all about speed, I think. Um, but you think, you know, on, on the lines of speed, you think that Wasp and Arcida would be the uh, more popular combination, but it's actually not. Hornet and Arcida actually wins the popularity category for this. Um, and it's possible because Hornet is cheap, because Hornet is actually very cheap, a uh, very cheap haul, and uh, you, you'll see it just by in every single game you join. Um, it, it, it is a fantastic haul for many guns and it looks very nice as well um, and it do, and as we uh, have mentioned in all the other guns it has a relatively high speed so you know you can get to your uh, enemies and uh, you know kill them and use the health to stealing uh, feature to, you know to, w to win and kill um, so this combination is actually really effective you know because you can rush in help teammates quickly with the speed um, so yeah, it is perfect, basically, and there's not much else I can say about it. Um, so yeah, you, you know, you, you just whiz around the map, healing people, you know, using the health steal, health stealing feature, uh, killing tanks. It's um, if you, if you actually use uh, drugs on it as well, which is like the one, two, three at the uh, at the bottom here, as you can see, it's where my mouse cursor is. Um, if you yeah, if you use them, it can become a really powerful uh, gun. Uh, to use because the stealing feature actually increases if you put uh, press number three uh, there and yeah it just gives you tons of health whilst damaging the other person a lot so um, it, it is just absolutely fantastic and um, maybe it, it might need a little bit more speed um, that's where wasp comes in really but it's up to you it's either wasp or hornet but this is a fantastic um, combination to use and the overall effectiveness for this I am going to give it a 7 out of 10 which is pretty good this is really not a bad combination at all this is Thunder and Hornet and uh, Thunder has a close, you know, quite a lot um, of damage at close range or close to medium range we'll say uh, as well as being decent on the on the longer range, what ranges so it is all on the longer ranges um, but that speed from Hornet can get you closer in uh, into the action and you can deal more damage basically um, and it also has a splash feature uh, Thunder does so that, that can be pretty good I mean you can get in there use splash feature to kill enemies behind walls it is uh, you know very good and the speed can also be used to dodge enemy uh, enemy fire uh, which uh, yes I agree it is very hard to do but I've done it before with Hornet and it is pretty cool um, but however, Hornet is a light hull. This means this combination would be less effective at charging into the middle of the action, as it won't last as long uh, as maybe you know, the medium hulls or the, the big hulls, the uh, massive ones. Um, but um, Thunder is pretty good. I mean, I'd say this combination works better than I don't know Thunder and Dictator, which I uh, I think it works better. 
uh, in my opinion, when playing. I reckon I'll get more kills with this combination. It's possibly because of the speed. I mean, I think speed is absolutely key in just about all guns. So, yeah, it, Hornet is a very good haul for speed and a very good haul for uh, most guns, as we said in the last one. Um, and it can also damage multiple opponent, opponents at once. It seems to have a little extra health, um, you know, than wasps. So it would, be, it would cer certainly benefit uh, for this weapon. Um, but it's a solid combination overall. And uh, as long as you adapt your playing style to uh, suit the extra speed, you'd be absolutely fine. So I'd give this uh, an overall rating uh, of 7 out of 10. Freeze and Hornets. Looks pretty cool and is actually very effective. You know, with Hornet's speed and its extra health over its counterpart, which is Wasp. Um, this is a pretty popular haul, uh, you know, to use on maybe smaller maps. Because, um, you know, obviously, Freeze is a close range gun. So, I mean, on long maps, yes, you would need a very fast haul, which you could possibly use Hornet, you know, to, to get to people. But it's still... It, smaller maps is are better for this combination. The drift feature of this hole also allows you to circle the opponent and zap them with your freeze gun, which is, uh, you know, you know, whilst freezing, you know, the effect of freeze, which means you know, the, the, the opponents won't move, but they'll be able to move, but not as fast, and they'll go really slow, and the, the turret movement will slow down, and which is, you know, really handy. Um, so, but, uh, you know, and Hornet can withstand a fair amount of enemy fire, I guess. So, so this combination does work in a defensive role, so, ba so basically, this combination works very well indeed in terms of dodging enemy shots as well. So, because Hornet is a stable but quick hole, you know, it can accelerate quite fast. And Freeze lives up to its name with its inf infamous freezing ability. Um, so, you know, and with Freeze, it's good to be low time. It's not actually that bad, to be honest. Uh, the combination can be used to attack too. So, but it's, it's actually really good for uh, defending the flag. I mean, you can sit there with a big hole like Dictator. And you can just, you know, freeze people and it'll just take longer for them to uh, get the flag to their base. But you can do that with Hornet as well, but it works well with bigger hauls. Um, <clears throat> it's a good uh, flag carrying haul, Hornet is. And uh, so, you know, so a player could use Hornet just freeze to make an effective escape with a flag from an enemy base. I mean, you could freeze the person and run off. Um, it, it works well because it's versatile this combination so basically good on small maps it's uh, freezing ability is absolutely amazing you can circle enemies and we'll be doing videos on how to use each gun effectively and we'll be on we'll be doing about freeze and it is how to use it really well and not get hurt by the enemy um, whilst using it because you know there's, there's little tricks you can do um, but the overall effectiveness I'm gonna give this is 8 out of 10 which is actually a really good uh, really good rating so yeah, very, very good combination. Ricochet and Hornet. This combination isn't necessarily the most effective, but it does come in handy if you're looking to use Ricochet in an offensive way. But consi considering Ricochet already has a good range, you wouldn't need that much speed to close an opponent down. So you're better off with a slower hull. And to be fair, Hornet is nice and stable, allowing you just to deal with Ricochet's recoil without much trouble. But its speed would be useful for getting out of sticky situations. So if you like trap, you can get out uh, quite quickly. And as Ricochet takes some time to load, um, so you can you know run out of uh, some sticky sticky situation, load and then we're back in. But the hull lacks health, as we all know. It is, it is a light hull, and um, this means the combination can't really be used for attacking multiple hen enemies head on. So you might have to kill an enemy, take cover with lows, maybe get a health pack, find a nice sitter, and then run up, run back out, and you know, get on with the next enemy. Um, that's potentially where Rico's recoil feature comes in handy. And uh, but if so, if I show you the recoil feature, there you go. Bounces off a wall. It can bounce off like multiple walls. I mean, I will do that. Okay, it bounces off the two containers there, and. Um, you know, I could get in, I could get an enemy, you know, just there, you know, where my cursor is, and I, I could, you know, keep shooting him, and you know, get him, kill him, and uh, especially if there's an enemy behind the behind a wall, I and mean, if the enemy is behind that wall, actually, you know, we use uh, actually these these walls aren't too great because the slant digs, we shoot these, they're just gonna go straight up like that. Um, just find a better wall and just show you. Anyway, right here we go. So you have an enemy. 
tucked away in there. You could shoot the wall and get him like that. Now you see the bullets coming back out, so anything in there is going to get shot. So it's absolutely amazing for that. So if enemy's hiding, waiting to reload, you know, you can blast him like that. Absolutely amazing, which is uh, really good. But uh, but even so, the fact that Hornet doesn't have much health, as the medium halls do restrict its combination in some ways. But basically, medium halls are better for this combination, and the overall effectiveness that I'm going to give it is 6.5 out of 10, which isn't too bad, it's over half, but I'd suggest medium halls for this. Now, we have Shaft and Hornet, and as we saw from last video on what to mount on Wasp, Shaft could do to be used on heavier tanks because of the health. Now, Hornet has a bit more health than Wasp, but it still doesn't really provide Shaft with enough. Um, the hall does have good speed uh, for reaching camping positions, like we said with Hornet and Wasp. And um, again, it's stable enough to cope with the high recoil that the weapon um, here would bring. Um, and due to the fact that Hornet is quite compact, this would be a good combination for poking around corners and sniping opponents without them really seeing you, you know, and getting back in cover um, to a load. But as you know, it does lack health and. Um, Shaft's a long range weapon at heart, basically, and you, you actually have to stand still whilst aiming as well. So that's where your heavy tank comes in, because you're, you, you could be getting blasted by the tanks, and that's where your heavy tank comes in. Because, you know, heavy tanks can withstand the blasting of the tanks, so um, it could stick out the longer, and, you know, find find the uh, the best sniping positions. Uh, it'll take a while though, I mean this this hull is very good for driving around really quickly, you know, for trying to find the really good positions where nobody finds you and you know keeps you know keeps shooting people. It's not a it's not a bad hull, it's not a bad combination. And um you know, if you're in a sticky situation, you know, you can't get out of it. And the reload time is quite slow on shaft. So again, you can, you know, take cover pretty quick and reload and get back out there pretty quick. Um it's just the two components don't really fit together, but it, it can be it can be quite a good combination basically. Uh, and the overall effectiveness that I am going to give this is again six and a half out of ten. Moving on to twins and hornet. Now at least this is it may think it may be a bit of a bad combination, but at least this is more sensible than mounting twins on wasp, which is one of the worst combinations in the game. Um Hornet is pretty stable, like I've mentioned throughout the whole video. Um, so, the, so the huge re recoil that Twins brings isn't much of a problem for the tank, and a speed with Hornet offers, um, uh, you know, it isn't it isn't a bad offensive uh, combination because of the speed at all. Uh, it does, in, as we've said in most of the uh, the turrets we've mounted onto Hornet, it is the lack of health of Hornet that's um, you know letting letting it down. Um, but it, it's got a closing poem, uh, opponents down because uh, it's it's fast, it's nimble, um, it's 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 not withstand a significant amount of battering. It? It, it's just it, it's you wouldn't defend with it. You you you'll go like straight in and um, it, it's just it's not it's sort of a midfield play. It's not the best combination, but it is better than some. It's an all right combination, I suppose. Um, You'd want to face maybe one one on one, you know, mid range sort of uh, people, but um, of course you do need a little bit of speed of twins because the closer you get, the more um, damage the, uh, the the you know the the guns do because like from a further distance the less damage they do, so you can whiz in there with hornet and you know, that is one advantage of it. Um, but uh, if if you come up with um, a close range, a person with a close range weapon, you are practically screwed. It's um, it, it's terrible with that. It, uh, it's it's not what twins is made for, uh, basically. And uh, so, overall effectiveness of twins, I'm gonna say six out of ten. It is an alright combination, but it's just not very good in you know close range weapons. Uh, so it's not very good with close range weapons, and um, it's, it's best for like railgun. You can you can knock the railgun off uh, because of the uh, the impact force. You can knock like the railgun railgun off. Like you're, you know, if he's aiming at you and you shoot him, it could move his turret to one side so he misses you. That is one advantage of this as well. Um, 
So yeah, it's not all bad, but it's not all good either. It's an all right combination. It's six out of ten. So now we we'll move on to the very powerful hammer, which is the um, a fairly new girl in Tanky Online. Very powerful. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a based on a shotgun. It's three three bullets, and then it has to reload. So it's like bang, bang, bang like that, and then it has quite a long reload time. But these, those three shots deliver very powerful shots, as a shotgun should. And it is spread shot, as you can see on the wall there. And as you move I don't know, further away there, oh, you see the spread shot on the, uh, on the crates there. And as you get closer, it's, it's you know, more, more tight, like tightly packed, the bullets. So if you get closer to tanks, it's really good. It delivers a high amount of power, but at a distance, it delivers pretty crap power to be honest so, and so that's why Hornet is a very good hull to uh, choose if you're going to use a uh, hammer um, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest wasp um, it is it's a good hull wasp to use but hammer no but sorry Hornet is very good with hammer it, it has an all right amount of health Hornet does it's fast it's nimble it's stable we can you know take the recoil of this very powerful gun and yeah, with the um, you know the drift effect, which I'm demonstrating here on the screen, if I just go a little bit faster, there you go. Look, it's drifting. Actually, we'll show you even better with the, with the speed boost. So let's get some speed up. There you go. Look, see so you, you drift like that. That can get behind tanks, shoot them before their turret can move around like that. So it, it's um, horn is a very good uh, hull. There's not really much to say, and very yeah, it's just very 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 good haul. Um, stronger hauls do work with this um, very well as well. I mean, maybe I think I'd suggest a stronger haul, but if you want a fast, you know, flag capturing combination, this is it. This is this is possibly your best bet. If you have um, a drug on, say like you know number three, like I've just put on that one. Not really sure what it's called, but it gives you more power for the gun. It is one shot kill to hornets, it's two shot to massive tanks. It deals a huge amount of damage. It's more powerful, th uh, more powerful than uh, thunder, and it is. It's a great. It's. It's. I don't really. I don't particularly like the gun, but it's the guns. Um, I. I did get a lot of kills when I was using this combination uh, a few weeks back, and. Yeah, it's it's very very good. Plus, it's an amazing parkour gun. If you um, if you if someone comes up a ramp, um, so I'm going to be doing parkour videos as well. So I'll be I'll showing you all this how to do it in detail. If someone if you if you're at the top of a ramp, someone comes up a ramp, you can literally I'll demonstrate if I can find a ramp, a big enough ramp. That that you see that, that ramp over there is a little bit too short, but uh, we'll use it anyway for demonstration purposes. But you're on a steeper ramp. Someone drives up the ramp. You're going to hit them so their turret like flips up into the air and it's, like, it's going to go on top of your turret and then shoot like that. And if it's a wasp, it should go flying behind you, the tank. And I mean flying, and or just do a few flips. And it's, it's amazing. You get people onto buildings with it uh, if you time it right, of course. Oh wow, there we go. And it does. It's quite. It will, it will unflip your tank, no problem at all. And. Um, Awesome for parkour, I'd say it's uh, it's it's a bit like ricochet. Ricochet can like you know you can go you can go up walls and like you know do that shoot and then do, go behind you and shoot yourself up onto places. You can do that with it. Uh, it's really good. But I'm going to give the rating for this uh, the overall effectiveness rating out of ten, seven and a half out of ten. The nearest weapon to tanking online. It is called the Vulcan. It was only released into the game, I don't know, a few months ago, two months, three, two, about two months ago, three months of the very latest, can't even remember. But uh, basically, it is a minigun like this, if I just demonstrate. It's a minigun like that. It's really hard to control if you're moving around. And you see this, I'm burning. Okay, the reload time is very, very quick, but. It disappears very very quick look at look at that yellow bar disappear and once that yellow bar is gone you'll start burning and then you will eventually die after quite a long time but this this is absolutely amazing 
if you have a big strong hull and an oscilla. The oscilla can keep reviving you. You can just do this for ages. And it's a fantastic haul. Uh, the horn is not the best haul for this, but as you can see, it's surviving a long time whilst burning. And as soon as you stop, you know, the burn does carry on for a little bit and it will like straight away so you can get back on and do it. And there's not much to say about this. I do not, I don't, I don't like, particularly like this haul, but um, I'll just demonstrate the uh, blowing up. So there you go, just blown up, and you know, it's. If you have an Arcida though, and you're just, you know, sat there shooting, you can just keep going and going and going. So the Arcida will keep reviving you, and it, it can be an absolutely awesome combination um, if, if you get it right. But uh, it's not the best combination. It, it, it would require, I'd say, you'd have to have a big, strong tank for this combination. And once we get onto, you know, what to mount on, Titan, Mammoth, whatever, this gun would be a very, very good gun to use for them. But uh, that's for, you know, in videos to come. So, yeah, not much to say. It does, it's, it is really hard. If, you, if you're getting shot, it's actually really hard to get out of the, uh, like the, the you know, the, it's, it's hard to take cover if you're in open space uh, quickly, if you know what I mean, because it will shoot you and it's going to shove you into walls like that. And then, you know, you're just, it is so hard, and I can't, it's, I can't really demonstrate I need another person with Vulcan, and uh, no one's really online, that's my friend at the minute. Um, but so there's a guy just joined, so I might just demonstrate a little bit of killing going on, because this, this is the brand new girl, I mean, you know, we've got to demonstrate it a little bit. But I don't like it, to be honest. Apparently it's actually really good if you get up to like M2 standards. This is only MO because I don't really like it to be honest. But um, it's not it's quite it's, it's quite expensive to upgrade. I mean if we just do this, look, right, there you go. It, it it takes absolutely ages for an MO to MO thing to kill this. There you go, I've just killed him. And obviously I'm burning. Um but the really good thing is it does load quick, so you can stop and then go again. The one bad thing is, one disadvantage, it's like railgun, it's like a warm-up shot so on railgun the light appears and then you shoot on this you need to wait for the barrel to turn and then you start shooting like that so it's wise this is just a top tip here um and i will do a top tips video on like every single gun how to use them properly uh, it's wise to press space before you actually get to the wall and then come out and start shooting back in space before the wall come back out start shooting like this look here he comes i'll demonstrate if i can get far, far enough away um, it's all perked up, right, I'll demonstrate, right, okay, here he is, look, I'm shooting before the wall, and then, yeah, and I'm going to die, and it's, basically, it is a really, really uh, good, uh, good tip, that is, but Hornet, it's not the best gun, uh, it's not the best tool to use, it is, however, it's fast, so you can get out of sticky situations, take cover, remember loading, or wait for a nice sitter, or whatever, it's, uh, pretty good, pretty good haul, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it six out of ten. It's not the best. It's all right, and um, yeah, and that is my last gun uh, for this haul, and that means uh, that it's gonna bring an end to the video. Next for next video on what to mount on what it, it will be. Let's think hunter. It will be hunter uh, next. So it'll be what to mount on hunter. So I hope yeah. Please subscribe. You know. You know. Go in. You know, subscribe and see see what to mount on um, Wasp. I'll put the link in the description and watch what to uh, mount on Hunter, which will, be, which will be coming soon. And there's going to be top tips, there's going to be parkour tips, there's going to be gameplay or boxes, everything you can think of, and um, rank up party maybe. Um, me doing good parkour. I, mean, I did I did do some amazing parkour the other day, but unfortunately I had to. Uh, I couldn't record it because my recording software was not working properly. I don't know why, but still. Um, but yeah, I will get some good parkour done for you. And um, yeah, and it'll be all uploaded soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you uh, maybe decide what gun, uh, what hull you want. It certainly uh, helped me when I. Uh, it would certainly help. It would certainly help me if I was going to choose uh, what hull 
uh, to use Motority Dog Show, and uh, I hope it helps you guys. So, uh, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Please uh, leave a comment, maybe how to improve, uh, like uh, the thing, and um, yes, yeah, and the main thing would be to subscribe. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.